And with one shade of your neck. In other words, the moment you wanted to return to the beauty of what we had or what you at least know you should have, you stole my heart. How fair is thy love, verse 10, my sister, my spouse. How much better is thy love than wine and the smell of thine ointment than all spices. He said, I could, I could hear every sigh of your heart as you were coming down the road. I could hear every prayer that you could barely utter out of your lips. And he said it was sweeter than the sweetest perfume of anything that this world can ever produce and offer. I saw you. I heard you. The prodigal son, do you remember? He was a long way off and the father saw him. He'd made a mess of everything, but the father saw him. Thank God the father knew the older brother was part way down the road. And he said, now I have to outrun this older brother. I've got to get to him first. Because the older brother will cast stones at him. The older brother will condemn him. The older brother will rub his nose in his sin. The father said, no, I'm going to outrun the older brother. I'm going to get to him first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why you've got to duplicate this message and get it out. We're going to get there first. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want you to remember, have mercy when all these people start coming home. That's what God spoke to my heart in Ohio. Have mercy. Have mercy. When all these people start coming home, and some of them are leaders, and they will realize they've made an awful mess. When they start coming home, you give them a robe. You tell them that they have a righteousness that can't be taken away. You, you put a ring on them. You empower them again. To They'll become some of the best preachers of the gospel this nation has ever known. You put shoes on their feet and say, come join me on this journey. We're going to go and into the vineyards as it is with Christ. And we're going to see a multitude turned from sin to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I want to give an altar call for everybody in this house, in the annex that has just felt unlovely. You felt like God doesn't want you. You felt that he's just so tired of all your mistakes, but he's not. Would you let his left hand lift your head again and his right hand give you strength? Would you, would you let him? Would you come with all your failings and all your flaws? Because you do want him. You're not interested in playing games with Christ. You want the real Christ. You want to walk with Christ. You want to honor Christ. You want the life of Christ. God knows it. The moment your eyes begin turning towards him, the moment your heart begins beating from him, he knows it. He knows it. He knows it. Don't let the devil call you unlovely anymore. Don't let the devil call you a failure, sir, anymore. Don't let the devil call you hopeless. Don't let him call you drug addict. Don't let him call you alcoholic. Don't let him call you codependent any longer. Don't let him put any names on you. You're the bride of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You have a radiance. You have an inheritance. You have a power. You have a victory. Let God, let Jesus put his victory upon you again. Glory to God. Glory to God. Make the journey to him. Don't sin in unbelief. Make the journey to him. Be part of an end time victorious bride. Shouting the praises of God in the midst of whatever comes. Glorifying the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Bless the holy name of God. Let's all stand together. If the Holy Spirit is drawing you, join these that have come. And we're going to rejoice in the goodness of our God. We're going to rejoice in the cleansing of our Christ. The freedom of our Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, Lamb of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. So many of you here, when we got to that part of singing, I am so beautiful, you had such a hard time with that. It was almost as if it's blasphemy to agree with God. He puts his countenance upon you. I, I, I know I'm not beautiful. I'm filled with flaws, but I'm, I'm, that's not what is, <laughs> it's, it's his beauty, it's his covering, it's his life. 
Anybody can throw stones at this old carcass if they want to, because there's nothing good in it, as Paul says. There's nothing good in me. So I'll just agree with my adversary. Throw your stones. There's nothing good here. But I have a covering now of righteousness that can't be taken away from me. Hallelujah. 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 It's the Lord speaking to you. I speak to the unlovely. Those that have bought the lie, and you're going to become a victim on the journey. If the stock market goes soon, you're going to be a victim on this journey. You're going to pull into the wrong holiness camp, folks. It's, it's, they're, they're too late. It's, it's a message that's just too late. Jesus is reaching out to his bride. He loves you. He died for you. Hallelujah. Come as you are. Those that are here today and you're, you need him as Savior, come as you are. Don't wait till you clean up your act because it'll never be clean enough to come to God. Just come as you are. Come as you are. Come with a heart that's determined to walk with him. Come with a desire to leave an old way of living and to embrace a new life in Christ. Hallelujah. Lead us in worship, Greg. And as we do, you just come as the Holy Spirit guides you. I have a thought to share with you, and that is this. Never let the enemy take your veil. He is your covering. Jesus is your veil. When Jesus says you are beautiful, would I pray that you and I would honor him by believing it. That we would we will glorify God and defeat the devil when we agree and say, Lord, you've made me holy. Your life in me makes me holy and makes me beautiful. When I fail, I will return to the truth that you've chosen me. And it is your life in me that is changing me. It is your spirit that is showing me how to walk how I have to. I turn away from how I think I have to. And I look to you who lives in me, who is making me what you say you will do. I will never surrender my veil again. You are my veil, Jesus. And I will glorify you every day when I never feel lovely. I will remember, you've called me lovely. You call me beautiful. You call me your bride. And I will honor you by believing it at that moment. You are a man that cannot lie. You are a God that has died for me and loves me and will love me till the very end. That's a true bridegroom. And let us honor the Lord and glorify him today by believing what he has spoken to us. And you can sing I am beautiful because the Lord says we are. And the Lord in us is making it. So it's a truth that we'll defeat the devil with this truth. And we'll receive it and believe it. Amen.